Now we're back to exploring mid journey. Let me show you how we can use it for icon design. We've already tried it a couple of times here. Important is icon sheet. It's going to help us in our prompts. And we're going to use stylize the S per meter to adjust the styling of it. The lower you go, the more minimalistic it's going to be. The higher you go, the more details will be in it. Let us prompt it. And I've had better results using an aspect ratio of one by one, so simple square. I use icon sheets, simple shapes, and then add kind of like a placeholder for the subject. We'll start with trees. So I use tree icon and white background. Stylize, I set it to 50. Here's the documentation. The stylized parameter can be adjusted from 0 to 1000 currently in version 5 and higher. The lower you go, it will closely match the prompt, but it's less artistic. And the higher you go, the more freedom, you could say, mid-journey takes itself. Here are a couple of examples, and you can see the difference between a low value and a high value. Let us maybe go over this one. So here's low, and it gradually goes higher. And at the higher values, it will add things to the image that might not even be part of the prompt. Let us go back and check our results. We have set stylized 50. I've kept the aspect ratio to 1 by 1. And in the first try, it's not about finding icons that you want, it's about finding the style that you want. We have four different ones here, and I like number four best, so I'll upscale this one. Once again, if you want to have more minimalistic results, go down, or if you want to have more artistic ones, go up with your stylized value. Then open your settings and make sure that the remix mode is turned on. It should be green, if not, click on it. And then we'll use our upscaled image, very region. And in our editor, we can now select this top row, make it a tree, but I actually like it. But we could just use the marquee tool right here, rectangular, and then add tree icons right here. But let me directly go to row two. So I keep the trees in row one. And now I add only car icons. I've also had success using cars. But if you just add an individual car, it might make a bigger one. So not five individual car icons. Therefore, it's, at least from my experience, better to use car icons or cars. And then you just confirm. All right, here's our second set. Car number two looks best, I think. So I'll upscale this one. And again, very region. And I'll select the third row and make it motorbike icons. Confirm, and while it does, let me show you what we can do with our finished results. I use this one, open web, there I can download it. And once I've done it, we can use a vectorizer, for example, vectorizer.ai. It's currently free because it's in beta. You have to check it if you watch this video a little bit later. But there are lots of free alternatives. Here you can just drag and drop our mid-journey image. It's going to turn it into a vector. It's quickly done. Let me zoom in. On the left is the original. On the right, you can see the vectorized version. On the left one, it gets very pixelated if I zoom in a lot. And on the right, it keeps the resolution. Click on download and here you can set it to SVG to have a vector file. Just download it. There are a couple of other things that you could adjust. But for the most part, you just need the SVG. Here it is now, and I can open it with the browser or use it in Inkscape, for example, 
in Adobe Illustrator, whatever you use, and there you could adjust it manually then. I'm going to link to Vectorizer AI. Let's go back to Mid Journey. Here's our motorbike. Number three could be usable somewhat, but best is number two. I'll upscale it. Let us move on to the next row. Same procedure. We'll select it. Let us make it maybe house icons. I'll confirm yet again. It happens that sometimes you have to reprompt it. It also happens that in these rows there may be an icon that doesn't fit. For example, here there are trees in the row where the houses should be. So from time to time you have to prompt it again and select individual places in these rows with the region and reprompt it. What can we add here? Let us use a bridge. So make the final one bridge icons. And you can see what I mean. We we'll get a bridge, but we wanted to have multiple to choose from, so we'll have to reprompt a part of this row. Let me use number two. When you use the remix mode, upscaling and creating variations might take some time. But here we are now. Let me pick number four. I'll upscale it and then I could use this, vectorize it and then play around with it in Inkscape or another vector software. And this is how you can use Midjourney for icon design. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.